In this video, we are going to do a 2D form model with Indius polarization. We're selecting the form model and checking the Indius polarization checkbox in the importing tab. We have to either define an electrode layout or we can import it. For this, I am going to use an already prepared electrode layout which has some missing topography. Fortunately, Recipe is capable of interpolating the missing topography. So let's see how it works. I am going to import this file, which should be in a comma-separated value format with XYZ headers. As you can see, Recipe will immediately notify you that some of the topography points are missing. But don't worry, you can interpolate them linearly by using this option. Now we are ready for a mesh generation. After the mesh is generated, we can define our anomaly or we can design our model before generating the mesh. I am going to define a region of anomaly pretty close to the surface in the middle. It's all up to you. And we'll give it a low resistivity value and about 5 milliradians of polarization. I'm going to use a regular dipole dipole sequence with around maybe 0.5 milliradian noise for polarization and 2% for resistivity. As you can see, the pseudo sections clearly show the anomaly. You can contour them for a fast assessment. And also, you can directly invert this. As you can see, you have the option of plotting magnitude, phase shift, real connectivity, imagined connectivity, and so on. We are seeing the anomaly as a connected feature. And we can see its phase shift value around the 5 million range. You can contour this if you like, and also you can estimate the depth of investigation, which the anomaly is in a good range for this specific problem. You also can do post-processing and eliminate the data points that are showing high error. Basically, whatever is outside of the absolute value of 3 for the normalized error should be eliminated and the data should be reinverted. Fortunately, this is not the case for this problem. Thank you.